Welcome collectors to another edition of Like a Hawk Cards and it's opening day. Yes, finally opening day for baseball and that means we're going to rip open a hobby box of 2021 opening day looking for the side PC mascot cards. But 220 card checklist. There is no retail this year. So if you're looking for opening day retail, even though I know you can't find retail on the shelves, you're not going to find it for opening day this year. It is only a hobby product. Got this for around $35. I'm not sure what prices have jumped to. I thought it was, it's nice. Um, in every pack, you do get an insert. And uh, yeah, so let's see what type of odds we get. Again, the big point of here, there are um, SSPs. So even though you're going to say, hey, this is a $35 box, I'm not going to get anything. There are SPs, SSPs, autographs in here that could make it worthwhile. There's 36 packs per box, seven cards per pack. So let's just see what we get. We'll just dump the packs out here, move the box away, and let's get into it. Like I said, for just a bang for your buck, I don't think you can find... There's, there's a lot of worse products for it, but uh, this year the NPN is going to be NPN 2021 Tops Opening Day BB NPN Group 37 PO Box 5013 Scranton PA 18505. So what I'm going to do is we'll open these, uh, talk a little bit about the baseball season, and then I'll go back, we'll pause it, we'll see if I missed any um, SPs or SSPs out of this. So let's take a look. This should be just like the base set. So again, if you can't find Series 1, if it's too expensive for you, this is a nice alternative to that because it just has the opening day logo in there. People do tend to buy this product now. There's a nice Jack Peterson who's doing very well for the Cubs in spring training. We'll see if that continues. Cunha, Trent Grisham. There's Devers, and there's our first insert, Legends of Baseball. This is the Wizard of Oz right there. There are some very nice relics. Um, there are, I think it's dirt from stadiums that uh, are in here. I know there's a Wrigley Field one. I think it's called Turf War, where there's um, a little bit of different stadium dirt in the same pack. So that would be kind of cool to pull one of those. All right, we got a blue foil, so there are some foils in here. Edwin Rios, Votto. Our first blue foil is going to be Starling Marte. So again, then we got a Clemente insert right there. So the foil, it's nice because it has the date right there. So it's got April 1st, 2021. The blue foil for the Starling Marte, unnumbered. Looks cool. So again, for those you're trying to hit some of the, the higher end stars, you know, it'd be cool to hit a, a Soto for the PC or um, anything like that. This looks very cool. We have a mascot on the back, so very, very nice. Kimbrel, not sure what he's going to be doing this year. Luis Garcia, rookie card, a bunch of nice rookie cards here. And here is our first mascot card for the PC, Wally the Green Monster right there. Was taking a look online. There's the back of that. Taking a, a look online, so I guess... Uh, it was a Twitter story about the Red Sox, and I guess they're going to be putting, there's Dylan Carson, who might have a good year for the Cardinals, keep your eye on him, um, that they were at 12% capacity for the Red Sox for Fenway Park. So we'll see if that gets a little better as it uh, the season goes on. People get more vaccinated. Joey Bart, rookie card right there. Frankie Aguilar, Bob Feller, that's cool. Outstanding opening day. Wonder if they'll have uh, Rhodes, Tuffy Rhodes for the Cubs who hit, was it three homers, I think, in opening day? And you never hear of them again. Wilson Contreras. Arenado, who's now on Cardinals. Kepler, Odor, Upton. Legends of Baseball, Ricky Henderson. I know there's a Legends of Baseball, um, Ernie Banks. That's in there. Nice. We have a relic, so that's pretty cool. Nate Pearson, rookie card. Javier, we have a Trevor Bauer, Reds opening day. So another blue one that is unnumbered. 
We have opening day, the Cardinals, and then we have a nice opening game, game use memorabilia of Manny Machado of Slam Diego. So that is unnumbered, but very cool to hit a relic out of there. Not sure what the uh, opening day relic, one in 228. So that's not bad. I guess that's, uh, what, one in eight? Eight boxes to pull a relic. So that's pretty cool. Let's take that. Austin Meadows, Bellinger. Nico Horner, I was talking to uh, Jason Goldberg. He got sent down. So um, they're going to give, oh, very cool, blooper for the nice, for the Braves. Uh, Nico Horner is being sent down. They're going to give the job to Bodie. My guess is they want to see what they have in Bodie because they still have uh, some years on Horner. So if Bodie does well, then Horner's probably going to stay down for some more seasoning. It's Tristan McKenzie. Skinniest guy got to be in baseball. Bauer, Yohan Mancata, and nice. Looking for food. There is Slugger right there. So, yeah, so for your Nico Horner fan, shout out to Arania, Scotty Arania. You might have to wait a little bit this year. I know a lot of the uh, the big names like uh, Kalenic, um Rodriguez, uh, Franco, Juan Franco. Um, yeah, they're all, they just, they're not being put up in the ball club. There's no reason for them to be put up, especially the Orioles. So if you're sitting on an Orioles rookie that you think is going to be up, they're not going anywhere. They're still trying to shed salary cap. So the Orioles, like uh, Rushman, Rushman's probably not going to be up this year um, because of service time. So... There was even the reason Bart was up last year. I think I dis might have discussed this before. Um, nice, Mr. Met with the mask. Very cool. Um, Joey Bart was up last year because of injury, so he wouldn't have been up, but they had really nowhere else to go for catcher, so that's why the Giants brought him up. Um, be su surprised to see how much playing time he's going to get uh, if they're just going to milk their veterans. Senzel, people are expecting Senzel to have a nice season. Again, if he can stay healthy, Senzel has had some injury issues in the past, but he does have the hit tool. Dubon, we have another nice blue foil. Javier. Zach Gallon, who hopefully will come back strong after his finger injury. David Dahl with the blue rainbow foil. Very cool. So we got three of those so far. And Derek Jeter, Legends of Baseball. Almost halfway, halfway done. I, I'm not sure if we're going to get something else out of the box, particularly because we already got a relic. But um, you know, there could be SPs. There's card number one, Fernando Tatis, Aaron Judge, nice Mariner Moose. Very cool. We got four of those so far. We have to see how large the uh, the mascots are this year. Walker Bueller, Swanson, Grandal. Gordon Dalbick. I know people uh, are expecting some nice things at Dalbick. From what I hear uh, from fantasy owners, they're kind of expecting like a Joey Gallo. So he has a ton of power, but in terms, we'll see if they he strikes out a ton or um, if he's just going to do well overall. I don't know. Um, there's Tony Gwynn. Plus, I also think I heard from on a fantasy sports station that he might not be the answer for them so we'll have to see how long he stays up um it'll just be interesting how he bias hoping bias has a nice year for the cubs nice clark very very cool clark mascot card right there that's cool i'm looking at getting an autograph of his but unfortunately his is a little expensive there's mount castle i think people are going to have a nice year for him Bregman Alvarez Orbit nice I mean these are pictures that you're probably not going to get with the mask who knows how many how many of those are going to be out there so selling uh, food to the cardboard cutouts like it Brandon Crawford you Darvish no longer on the Cubs it's kind of strange that they wouldn't have the there's Hank Aaron nice rest in peace um, that they'd have some union reforms at least Kind of Photoshop it. I saw a lot of the uh, the Buccaneers. Tom Brady had Buccaneers uh, photoshopped 
almost pretty quickly when he got traded. Nice Juan Soto for the PC. Randy right there. Tim Anderson. We got Ichiro. Legends of Baseball. So a lot of the Legends of Baseball inserts in here. Dustin May, who I believe they said is the fifth starter for the Dodgers, although um, they have a lot of people. Nice, Elk Bomb. Verdugo, nice. Very cool. Billy the Marlin right there. Have his autograph in the back. Um, that, I think it was David Price. And there was somebody else that's going to start off in the Dodger bullpen that could conceivably take starts. So um, even though they're in the bullpen, I think they're going to save some, some starts down the way. But uh, there's nice. Gary Sanchez for all the Yankees fans out there. We'll see what type of year he puts together. Texas Rangers opening day. So far we got four of the Blues. I'm guessing we'll probably get maybe one more out of these. Maybe a numbered one. You can get those. Alzale, who I believe made the rotation. So that's nice. Like I, I think I said in uh, one of the other nice Willie Mays right there one of the other videos that um, he was kind of watching what Arietta was doing and picking his brain, so I'm hoping that Alzale is going to have a nice year for the Cubs. Max Muncy, Jesus Sanchez, Bryce Harper, Clevenger. And there's a rod. So we hit both of our uh, autographs that we got there in the background. I know uh, Matt Spencer gave me an autograph that I didn't put out there. I was kind of saving it because I wanted to put the Watch the Cubs back there as well. Soroka, we'll see what Soroka does this year, coming back from injury. There's Mike Trout. And Javi Baez, outstanding opening day in 2019. Hopefully he can have a full, nice full season. You know, the Cubs are going to have some decisions this year on what to do. The most interesting one is going to be Chris Bryant, who even in early March we were hearing rumors about going to the Mets. Lindor, we'll see if he can do very nice for the Mets. Eloy Jimenez, who I guess got a second opinion, and he might only be only be out three and a half months instead of till September. We'll see if that, hopefully the Sox will do well without him. Um, there is talk about where do you put Andrew Vaughn. Nice. Anthony Rizzo is the last card of the set at number 220. Didn't hit his regular card. Don't mess with the Jesus. Benintendi and Mascot. Nice for the Blue Jays. I also think some of the cards, I was reading some of the, the breaks on here on the forums, and they were talking about some backwards cards in here and how some of the backwards cards in packs might not even be SPs, so you kind of have to watch. So what I recommend if you're going to open these is go ahead and open all of them and then look at the codes on the back and see what are SPs. And what are, you know, SSPs? So, Patrick Corbin, Rodriguez, Stan Musial. Six, five or six more packs. Justin Turner. Nice. Luis Robert. Very cool. We've got Rosie Red. Another mascot. Hopefully we can eke out another mascot here in our last four packs. Another blue there. So we got, this might be our last blue foil. Josh Bell, Nola, Adele. Nice, Dustin May. Very cool with the Dodger blue. Oh, people love the cards where the borders match the team colors. So especially in Prism or anything like that. So... Nice to hit the Dustin May with the blue. Willie Adamas. Um, they were trying to think, I forgot who it was. There's Chris Bryant KB for the PC. Um, I forgot who it was for the Rays. And they were trying to think of where they would put him because you can't move Adamas because I guess he hits well. Um, low and low, so it's, it's tough. Hernandez Abreu, we'll see if he does very well this year. Casey Mize, nice. We did get another mascot TC Bear right there. Last pack, and I'll pause it and we'll come back to see if we got any SPs out of here. Nothing big like last year. 
Poser Merritt, Gavin Lux. Let's see if he can take a nice step. Ozzy Albi is still pulling, pulling for him to do something. And Jean Carlo Stanton. So we'll pause it here. We'll see if we get any SPs, and I'll be right back. So I checked. We didn't get any uh, different variations. Um, but again, it's a very fun break to do. Um, solid. We got five or six blue foils. We did get the relic, and that's you know out of ten boxes, eight or ten boxes. So fun little break. I really appreciate you checking this out. If you want a nice, affordable break, I think this product may do you very well. Like, subscribe. Tell me about your hits in the comments. Let me know if you're opening opening day and how well you did. Of course, our social media, Instagram at Like Hot Cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of luck in your next break, and thanks for watching Like a Hawk. Thank you.